Last spring, the UK border agency changed its immigration policies to make it harder for international students to work in UK after graduating from British universities. The International Student Office at the University of Sheffield protested against such policies in cooperation with other students' union around the country. One of the things that we're protesting on was uh, the treatment of international students and the immigration rules that have happened. So yeah, there was a, de a demonstration about it. Basically, we give them a, as much support as they can to lobby the government in order for them to change their strict regulations because it really does not feel nice to, do, to have to go through all that just to get a visa. So we're trying our best to combat that. Some international students affected by the decision were more interested in their academics than getting a job in the country. Um, I think the main reason I come to UK is to study, to get the knowledge. And um, work comes after. Meanwhile, others regretted not having the opportunity of gaining practical experience prior to returning to their countries. It's kind of worrying because you do want to work and get the experience in another country before going back home, but you can't do that anymore because of the visas. It's hard to get a job. The British government has blamed the economic recession for its decision, saying the local market is already under pressure. However, students from 31 European countries are allowed to work freely here, according to the European Union regulations. If they could remove EU students from being able to work, they would, but they, w they wouldn't because of the agreement. But uh, as, as it is for overseas students, then there is no such rules, so they're, they're able to change them as much as they want. A fact that seems to be important for European students studying in UK. It's not that easy to find really engineering jobs in Cyprus, so I would maybe go to some other country for studying. According to official reports, the policy has so far resulted in a 25% decline in the number of Indian students choosing UK as an academic destination, while universities expect the decision will have a negative influence on the numbers of international students coming to UK from all over the world. For NBC News, Sarah Fayyad.